Hello everyone, Pally Tom here, and welcome back to the A through Z playthrough. In today's video, we have landed on Imperius. He was added into the game on January 8th, 2019. Since then, would you like to guess how many balance patches he's received? I was actually really surprised by this number. I knew he was a relatively new hero, one of the newest we have, so I was expecting to maybe read through like four patch notes. He has been patched 15 times since his release. That's ridiculous to me. He has a current win rate of 47.91%, so maybe we're going to see some more patches to him soon. And an 11% popularity, with only one of that percent actually being bans. So if you find yourself really enjoying Imperius, then you can probably play him in a lot of situations. There are some standout talents here for me that I want to talk about really fast. We have Holy Fervor, which also just got some new functionality added to it on a 25 second cooldown you can activate this and then your next four basic attacks cleave quite a big area and do additional damage in general so additional auto attack damage when you cast your molds and shell which is your e ability you also get two of these for free as well that functionality is new really really cool talent i didn't use it as much as i should have in today's video uh, keep in mind, I usually record the matches first and then my intro after. It's actually just easier that way for some reason. But really, really cool and allows him to cleave down important objectives like the Infernal Shrines really, really easily. It gives him a lot of really easy lane clear, which of course you guys know I like a lot. And if you use your cooldowns right, this allows you to cleave through a mercenary camp in almost record time as well. Very, very cool talent. Most people are building him either for his E ability or for his Q ability. However, I do a weird hybrid of auto attacks and E stuff that I actually find pretty enjoyable. So I hope you guys look forward to the game today. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. A lot of practice went into getting my Imperius to look anywhere near as good as it does now, but there's still plenty of room to grow as well. It was a pretty fun game. And uh, remember, before you leave, please be sure to hit the thumbs up button. It helps us out a ton. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we find ourselves on the Volskaya Foundry. The friendly team today, Imperius, Nazebo, The Butcher, Genji, Lunara, the enemy team, Asmodan, Kira, Z Zag Zagara, I can read, uh, Dahaka, and Probius. So I, I was trying to decipher what GLO mean, and it, it totally, like, melted my brain. He just tapped another key, but for some reason, that attack was super effective on my ability to speak. My entire goal this game is going to be to feed the Butcher. Imperius is a character that I've been practicing in the previous two weeks, and I would love to tell you that I've mastered the character in that time, but I simply have not. The build we're going to be presenting today is the one that I enjoy the most, but of course is not the only way to play the character. I found it allows me to engage really, really hard and do a bunch of flashy stuff. And at the end of the day, that's what is the most important to me. Our Genji flying forward is going to be doing a lot of damage right in front of those towers. However, we were not quite able to follow up very well. We are going to see us open up onto the enemy team's Kira and our Butcher a little late on his attack there, but that's okay. If I see Kira pausing with her Q ability, I can hit her with my Q ability. We have Celeste field charge in our queue it allows us to jump forward and if we hit an enemy with our spear they will be crowd controlled this enemy team's probe has nowhere to go oh no oh no you love to see it the butcher getting fed our W ability is Solarian's Fire. This is a skill shot with two zones I guess does the middle slow or uh, Enemies in the center take 50% bonus damage that are slowed for 40%. Nice. Now he stopped attacking. Butcher? <laughs> uh, let's rotate up to the middle lane now. Coming up behind Azodan. I don't think he's going to see us coming. Just charge him. Just charge him. Believe in it. Believe in it. Believe in it. 
Okay, stop believing it. Stop believing it. Oh, no. Four members of the enemy team rotating through middle right now. I need to make sure that I don't go near any bushes or smoke that could allow Dahaka to get that movement speed increase. We're going to try to re-engage here. It's not going swell. What you see on enemies with those red circles underneath their name, each of our abilities, our Celestial Charge, our W ability, Solarian's Flare, and Molten Armor, our E ability, apply a debuff. Each ability applies an independent debuff to our enemies. And then if I auto attack them, it basically explodes those debuffs and hopefully I get a significant portion of healing. The Butcher engaging on Zagara and it's good. Let's get this creep out of here, dude. I hate creep. Get this shit out of my game. Oh, I hate it even more when I mess up killing it. Uh, we are going to take Sovereign Armor. You may have noticed with our Celestial Charge, sometimes we get ourselves in a position where we're just standing still with someone on the edge of the skewer, and we are kind of opening ourselves up to really big damage. This is how I get around that. Molten Armor is going to give us 20 armor whenever we press our E ability. And that's 20 armor that I can decide when I want it. I think that's really powerful and something that should not be overlooked. The enemy team's Probius is zooming down here left a pylon up powering one of his canyons all we gotta do is slap this pylon maybe two times and that thing is going to be taken out zagara pushing the top lane right now we should be mindful of that we don't want to let her get a free push in here but probius locked up and ready to go as the butcher charges in that's going to be a pretty easy pickup we're dealing big damage to kira on the way out as well someone needs to go clean that up and his name is nazebo <laughs> <laughs> perfect perfect exactly what we wanted he's heading over there now uh we have 50 percent of this objective in the bag for the friendly team let's see if we can gather this region globe for us um i think there's two different ways of playing imperius or two schools of thought you could go in thinking you're the main tank and trying to mitigate as much damage as possible i don't do that one i'm more of the bruiser fighter get in there and brawl kind of player but both ways are excuse me totally valid totally valid ways of playing uh i'm gonna get in the vehicle i hope lunara gets in as well because the butcher can help secure some big kills here but we're gonna give some shielding to our whole team as we are moving up don't be too surprised if this first objective gets taken down relatively quickly it's kind of meant to these things scale really slowly so we're not super strong right now one of the best things you can do with this objective is simply rotate up to the top lane. The top lane is where the next objective is going to be. And if you can get this wall a little bit weaker before the next objective, that should benefit us quite well. We're going to turn around just to scare Kira a little bit. We're not going to be able to do too much more damage with this. I do want to keep it alive for its entire duration if I'm able to, but it doesn't look like I'm uh, really going to be able to. So all in all, relatively okay for a subjective. We got the middle wall down and uh, we push these guys around a little bit. What more could you really ask for as the objective does end butcher and i are back on the playing field i was hoping someone would step up a little bit too far like maybe this probe is here and we can take him down instantaneously with that bonus damage from our trait we do see cigar moving up here yet again and i hate creep get this creep out of my game our level seven talent allows us to cleave whenever with two auto attacks whenever we use our e ability we also get an activatable holy fervor that we can then use to turn our auto attacks into a cleave machine as well the enemy dahaka pushing me around a little bit as he's running back down to the bottom lane normally you guys know me i would be all about taking camps at this stage in the game especially when there's a lot of downtime right now with nothing really of significance happening but unfortunately imperius is really really bad at that <laughs> Like, really bad at that. Uh, I'm going to kill this Hydralis just to make sure Nazebo does not get taken down. His zombie wall actually saved him there. I wonder if he caught that. That was actually kind of cool. We're going to go for Wrath of Angris. This is the least popular choice at level 10. However, it's also really, really fun. Okay, so I'm going to take it. There's also a talent that we can pick up a little bit later in the game that I haven't seen very many people running that has a pretty fun synergy with it. And I really wanted to show that off today. 
day if I am able to. The Butcher so far is doing a great job. We're roaming around together being pretty damn effective. We are going to see Kira start to engage a little bit here. We're going to do big damage to her. She missed a lot of her abilities. Dahaka take it down as well, and that just means the Butcher's quest is almost completed. Uh, we do see Genji trying to help me take this down. I have been battling the mana reserve of Imperius over the past couple of weeks as I've been practicing him, especially on some matches where I'm just fighting the entire time. It feels like I don't have any mana to go around at all. I've been trying to get over that. I've been trying to hold on to my abilities a little bit more, specifically not to have that problem anymore. As the Butcher runs down to the bottom lane, he does pick up a kill on Probius, and that means his quest is completed. Uh, I did see Zagara moving up here momentarily, but it looks like Kira's moved in to reinforce her. Um, they're pushing in really, really heavily here, even bringing out the Gargantuans. So this should be a pretty safe bet that we're going to get this down. Butcher, 15 seconds on his ultimate, so he's probably not looking to engage super hard here. However, that doesn't mean that I can't... Oh, oh I'm dead. I'm going to use my heal. Uh... Not redeemable at all. My bad, my bad, my bad. Stepped up way too far. Luckily, that could have gone worse. I could have also given them the, them the heal at the same time. So using that there was the right thing to do, even though everything I just did was wrong. I wasn't expecting the rotation. Didn't look at my mini map. Just saw red. <laughs> I turned into the butcher there for a moment. Next objective is up top. Once again, that's why we took our previous objective up here. If we can grab that, get a couple kills and push in, it should be a very, very easy building. The team is rotating up now. We are going to grab Divine Rage. Consuming a Valorous Brand Mark reduces the cooldown of Molten Armor by one second, meaning we can cleave more often. We can give ourselves that defensive bonus more often. It does kind of suck that I did lose our only source of healing prior to the objective happening, but you know what? That just happens sometimes. I'm going to go in with a spear on Kira. Try to keep damage in on her as well. I am going to be stunned here, but one more auto attack is all we need for that. And oh, God. Oh, God. All right, I tried to use our Wrath of Agris. What it allows me to do is charge forward. If I come into contact with an enemy player, I can then pick them up and reposition them. I can pull them back to my team, pull them back into the kill box. Unfortunately, we did miss it there. It is kind of a hard skill to land, truth be told. Uh, Zagara trying to trade into our Genji here. That's not going to go too well for her. We just walk in and slice her down. Turning on the cleave for our Holy Fervor now as well, just to clear out the lane. Of course, we're going to need to get back up to the top lane relatively quickly, but that doesn't mean we can't push this lane out one more time in the interim. Butcher and Azebo pushing forward do take down that top building, meaning our objective can get even more value in that lane. In fact, this is looking pretty secured. The enemy team had some pretty staggered deaths there thanks to Genji and his attempt at saving bottom. So I'm just going to clear that out, maybe clear a little bit of this creep. They're doing everything they need to do up there on the point. However, Nazebo is by himself, and he is going to need a gunner in that thing. So I'm going to head up to try to assist that. Unless the Butcher gets in, which it looks like he wants to. Okay. So one of the problems with Wrath of Angris is it has a really long wind-up time. Uh, the other ultimate choice for Imperius does give him a decent amount of armor as well, a decent amount of shielding as well that can be quite valuable. Uh, let's see if we can catch her on the way out. I do actually miss. She's still somehow sustaining through everything we've done so far, but that's a-okay. Dahaka under the ground is emerging really low on HP. Zagara asking for it, dude. She's playing really far forward here, but the objective does take down that building. I'm going to kind of slink away into this blind spot here, and if anyone moves moves up on the enemy team, I might be able to capitalize on it. But you're kind of getting the same idea, I think, hanging out over here with me. There is some creep in the area. I don't think they could see us from there, but I'm just going to make sure that that's cleared out. The one remaining Sippy Cup has been taken down, and here we go. Valorous Pursuit. This is the talent I was talking about. This is what enables me to do all of this fun stuff here in great silence from our Butcher, unfortunately. Might be a little too late for him. I'm going to pick up Kira, try to bring her over into the middle of the lane. Maybe we can do a little something something over here with our Lunara, but I don't blame her at all for trying to back out of there. Looks like the Haka was just... Oh, on the other side of that wall, and the Butcher was not able to follow up. Tahaka, engaging really hard here, however, is going to be taken down as he bit off a little more than he can chew. That was the longest grappling hook I've ever seen in my life, but Lunara is going to be taken down as she, again, chases into our team. 
Lunara does have a lot of Hydralis stuff on her right now. That is going to be the end of her. The zombie wall just barely missing on Zagara here. Man, I love spider build as emo, man. We played a game of spider build at like fucking six in the morning on the charity stream. And I was with my friend who hadn't played the game in like three years. So our matchmaking was just terrible, just awful. Like we almost hit level 30 again. It was almost one of those games. But dude, I was just like from full health to nothing, comboing people down like it, like it was my day job. I wonder why it was like that. <laughs> That's strange. I've never played this game before. Let me show you what Valorous Pursuit does. We are going to need a few things to line up to really make it work. But I found that as enemies are running away from my team, this is a tool that I can really use to re-engage on enemies. Um, I don't think we go in on that. We just saw someone above us towards the top lane. Were they getting the heal? I should probably check. Zebo did cruise by. No, that looks fine. So what this does is if we have any brand on any enemy, which is the debuff we apply from any of our basic abilities, if we have a brand on a target, we can then teleport back into said target. Meaning, if someone tries to run away from us, well, good luck. You're not going to get very far. You're not going to get very far at all. Next objective coming up pretty fast. We don't have a lot of health either. This might be a position where I recall pretty quickly. Uh, they shouldn't be able to see me here, although if Tahaka comes around the corner, he's definitely going to be able to. Uh, 14 se I, I need to be careful, careful, careful. Oh, Kira coming in. We're going to hit her with everything we got. Butcher charging back in. Let's crowd control everyone else so the Butcher can get that kill no problem. We're then going to bring Zagara way back here and finish her off, right? As Genji finishes off the enemy team's Dahaka. Great zombie wall on the left side is going to secure a kill on Azradan as well. Nice. Very nicely done. Very nicely done. My first instinct was to pursue that kill with the Butcher and kind of help him out, but he's stacked up so much at this point, 290 meat at this point, I knew that he could take that down no problem. So if I could stop the enemy team from moving in on him, then we set ourselves up for even more success. Now at level 20, we are going to go for Brand of Silorian. Reduce the duration of Valor's Brand to five seconds, which is kind of counterintuitive with Valor's Pursuit, but the benefits outweigh the negatives. They're never consumed when we attack someone. So the healing bonus that we get every... I really thought our E would clear creep out. It really doesn't. The healing bonus that we get from attacking enemies now never, ever goes up way insane increase to our survivability and in general just our ability to trade with enemy heroes our confidence should be going through the roof right now a lot of the creep on the map has been cleared as the enemy team is starting to congregate up top even though the objective is down below uh it's there i'll get in a second the objective moving into the bottom lane. Butcher inside of it. I'm not a fan of that, but you know what? If someone wants to be on the gun, God bless them, because we need more people like that in this game. So I'm not going to complain too much. Those towers are going down pretty quickly. Let's see if I can get a grab on Zagara. We do. Focusing, focusing, focusing. <laughs> Almost got away with it, too. Almost got away with it, too. Let me tell you what happened there. Went in and on Zagara, got the Valorous brand on her. Then, as she was attempting to run away, we used Valorous Pursuit to teleport back next to her and then go in with the Wrath of the Angress. No one expects that reposition. It's basically Vorpal Blade from Zeratul. It allows you to be right on top of a target. In my... In my experience and i'm not going to say that this is always going to be how it is right but in my experience i've caught every single fucking person i've ever used this on this combo of abilities is so fun together and i cannot stress how much joy this brings to my life ever since i uncovered this combo i never really see anyone taking the uh valor's pursuit talent Probably because it means you can't chase super far when you get level 20. But that's not why I'm taking it anyway. I'm doing it just so I can get in close and make sure that I can land those abilities. Uh, very disappointed we didn't finish off that building. We have a Nazebo that can spawn in a lot of stuff to just take tower shots, and the Butcher could probably kill it in about four auto attacks. Uh, <laughs> exaggerating, of course. But uh, it's no, no sense crying over that. No big deal at all.
We've done a great job of controlling every objective. And I mean, at the end of the day, me going in and dying for our team is probably what my role in this game actually is. We're going to turn on Holy Fervor just to cleave down this camp a little bit more. Butcher grabbing the heal up at the top right position. We do have our ultimate ability ready to go again. So I'm looking to fight and it looks like I'm not alone in that. I did see Kira above these guys. Is she still here? Looks like the enemy team's Dahaka was, but now he's being pushed away. Probius doing some Probius stuff over here. Isn't going to get too far. As Kira engages on our team, we're just going to follow up with even more crowd control as the Butcher stuns her mid-ultimate. We hit her with a shish kebab when that stun ends. Um, definitely reinforce this. This is our number one priority now. We're mounted as well, so Zagara cannot run away from me. And she can't run away from that. Let me get out of tower range really fast. Whenever you're ready to stop shooting me, I'm ready for that as well, tower. Thank you. Butcher does put down the heal. That is going to get the tower's attention momentarily. Dahaka pushing up top right now with Lunara nearby. I mean, bro, we got a butcher. Just hit it. What could go wrong? What could go wrong? Uh, we're going to have 18 seconds until Probius rejoins the game, but the game is not going to last long enough. Did I do everything I wanted to do? Kind of. Could I have played a little bit better? Oh, yeah. You, be you better believe I could have played a lot better. But if you compare this game to what I was doing just a couple of weeks ago when we first picked up Imperius, there's been a lot of improvement in there. Yeah, and I took some damage. Oh, good. Stats for the last game. 68,000 siege damage, 22,000 hero damage. Again, I was trying to be like more of a tanky front line for my team than really going in and bursting people down. But I think we did an absolutely okay job. We went for Burn the Impure at level 1, Sovereign Armor at level 4, Holy Fervor into Wrath of Angris, Divine Rage, Valorous Pursuit, and Brand of Solorian. Again, the idea between Valorous Pursuit is to make it easier to land Wrath of the Angris, and I only got to show that off one time, unfortunately. I'm sorry. But it is a really, really cool synergy if you're a fan of this ability. I will say, though, that most people do go for the Angelus Angelic Armaments at level 10. And when you consider if you skewer someone with your Q, you're going to be standing still for quite some time. Being able to give yourself such a hefty shield does make a lot of sense. That's going to do it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for watching. We'll be back again soon with a... Can I guess who's next without looking? Jaina. With a look at Jaina. It's not as impressive as it sounds because I was practicing her last week. <laughs> Take care, guys. See you again next time. Goodbye.